Hello, so this is just a quick video about some of the features of Google Classroom that we'll be using. This is really going to be your one place that you'll want to go uh, when you first get to class, uh, when you're absent. This is where all of the information will be housed. Now, it's going to look a little different for you as a student uh, because you're a student and I'm a teacher, so I'm going to have, I have a little more controls, but you'll get a general idea for what, uh, for what Google Classroom will look like for you. So the first thing that I want to show you is here. Um, this is what, what it should look like uh, when you log in. And the first thing that you'll find is this right here, this daily agenda. So the daily agenda uh, will always be in a Google Doc and it will just have a running list. Uh, I'm gonna show you last years. This is from my journalistic writing class from last year. And so if I click on this, it will automatically open a Google Doc, and this will do the exact same thing on the iPads. And you can look, the last time that I um, updated this was May 7th, which was a couple weeks before school got out, because for the last two weeks, everyone was just working on this video. But if I wanted to scroll down, you can see on the side there, it says 11 of 11 pages, and we start here with January 5th. So, cause it, and it is a semester class. So the purpose of the agenda then, sometimes I'll put links to articles that might help you, um, but I try to, to put a pretty much a, a bullet point idea of what we're going to do in class every day. So this is where you can go when you're absent or if you just want to know what we're doing in class before class starts, you always open the daily agenda. So. Um, the other thing that you'll see in the stream here are assignments, and you can tell here, so this assignment for the we practiced writing headlines, and it was due March 11th, and you can see that one person didn't finish it, um, and 16 did. And so this gives me a really easy look. Now, you will not see this because you're not a teacher, uh, but there will be, uh, you'll have a turn-in button whenever you open an assignment, it will open in Google Docs, so if I open this, it will, whoops, it shows me student work. Here's the instructions, okay? And so I have this, and then it shows me um, the, the actual document is what I can go to to see your work, and then when you open the document, there will be a little turn-in button, and that's how you'll turn in your assignments when they're posted here. The other thing that I wanted to show you um, is well there's two things so first we have the add comment and that's a place where if you have questions for me or we can use this as a back channel during uh, class discussion uh, this is a place for you to post ideas questions comments whatever as long as they are relevant to the assignment so you don't want to be a goofball for one, but if you have a question about, say, redundancy, you don't want to post it on the headline thread, so make sure that you're using it appropriately. The last thing that I want to show you is the About tab. When you click on the About tab, it has a couple of things here. First, it has um, a link to a website that your parents can see. Uh, I found that most of my students don't really like going to a website, so that's why I don't push that as much, but it's there for parents. What you have here in the About tab, I've organized all of the resources in folders by topic. So the last writing project we did in journalistic writing was review writing. So when I click on this, it automatically opens a folder that has everything that we use to learn how to write reviews. And that way you can look at it whenever you need to. Again, if you're absent, if you need extra help, whatever it happens to be. And so you can see all of these units that we that that we covered in journalistic writing were all there in Google Classroom. So again, Google Classroom is the way that I communicate with most of my students. Um, you can there's a classroom app that you can download for your devices so that you can use this wherever. Uh, but since we do have iPads or iMacs in all the classes that I teach, this will be your go-to every day. You come in, you log into Google Classroom, you'll be able to see everything that we're doing that day. So get in the habit of logging into Google Classroom and it will be fantastic.